Charles <laughs> Pete. Oh, yes, mate. Yes, mate. One, two, three, show. So, so that means you're first, right? Well, you choose. Yeah, you go first. <laughs> So here we are back at Tidworth Free Ride. Quite an iconic venue that's been here a number of years and hopefully the guys are really gonna rejuvenate it to get it ready for summer. Let's go to the top, check out today's track. A couple of hours time, there's gonna be hundreds of riders all queuing up ready to get smashing on down this trail. Let's go have a little look. First little pedally bit into these roots. Root garden you gap, we'll just stay on the left hand side. As long as you carry your speed there's not too much in it. Weirdly looking forward to this race because we're using a number of push-up paths so not many people would have ridden it. Next corner, bring it wide. All these little routes are going to be a little tricky unless you've got the new uh, Fox 38 damper and then you're going to be sweet. That is the original white line. They're cutting you off straight down the middle to ruin this berm. Won't, won't be long and I'm sure they'll re redo it though. Kind of cool because there's actually a fairly big feature for a route one. We've got a nice step down and then we come in to the DMR money booter. Hopefully there's uh, paps here to get loads of loads of like tricks and stunts and all that good stuff. The original white line, we're going to be going in left. This is the original push up. You sort of see where Ollie is down there. Flat out through those trees and then boom, you're away. Nice couple of uh, smooth berms. I think the key with these is literally trying to carry your speed as much as you can. As soon as you're inside one of them, you almost lose that flow. Carry as maximum speed as we can round them. Quite a techie section now. This is where we end up coming straight down a push up. So if you blast on down there, you've got a choice between left and right personally feel like the outside you're going to just carry a bit more speed you've got to check up too much for that inside then we hit these lovely recrafted berms straight into the money booter at the end which you've got a choice of a small one or a big one um, I think the speed you're going to be carrying the big ones literally ideal anyway problem we've got with the smaller one not only do you uh, look like you're a bit scared with cameramen but actually you are doing more of a wiggle the bigger one you carry more speed down here far straighter straight into the next section the last finishes we obviously come off the hip we've got a table got another sort of table really really cool to see the work they've done and it only gives you an idea of what potentially they're going to be doing ready for the rest of the year big up tidworth and there we go last little jump and then into the finish so i suppose we better go sign on see what's going on and uh, gear up ready and raring right, on our way to the first practice run see what it's all about right so here we are waiting for the first practice run bike's looking trick a bit of a queue but we're all good it's dry weather let's go to the top and check it out the number board nearly there nearly there and at the top first practice run then Let's go! Let's go inside! First practice run. Right, so first practice run, 102. So hopefully sub minute for race run. First practice run done. Real good fun track actually. So we're just going to go up to the side of the track and just have a little look at some of the lines. So sick to see so many little lads sending it. So this is the worst part of it. We just want to try and open up this turn as much as possible. Really off camber and it's just going to get cut up as the day goes on. Just want to try and go out wider utilize carrying that speed into the next jumpy section first part of this track is quite flat and pedally 
and then we drop into those routes that we've just looked at. So the main line choice for this trail was towards the bottom, you've got the inside and the outside. I actually think outside is going to be better because you just carry a bit more speed. However, the in sets you up a bit better for that inside burn. Let's have a little comparison and see. A bit more of a waiting game. Towards the top, as you can see, quite a big old queue still, but nice and fun. Sick to see such a little race, absolutely thriving. Let's go and uh, check out another practice run. Right, we ain't got long. It's literally going to be it. Joshy, we're following you for this one. <laughs> oh, we? God sake. <laughs> All right. Right, go on, then. Right, so we basically get a try it with Joshy boy. Yes, boy! Oh, yes, mate! So sick! Yes, mate! Right, this way it might be different. Overshot that. <laughs> I love that, mate. That was well. The Siri was sick, bro. Quality. I enjoyed that. Good vibe. Good. So there we go then, that is practice done and dusted. Good fun times following Josh there. Um, now we've got a bit of chill out time before racing commences. So we've got a couple of hours now. Let's get some food, get this ready and rare, and then uh, I'll see you at the top for racing. Yeah, boy. So this is actually quite a hard corner because you're coming in direct rather than these berms. This corner is actually washing away. So I think first one, we just go a bit more chilled, carry our speed out and uh, see where we end up. We come out of that berm and then we're greeted with this step down into this jump. Quite a lot of people are actually struggling with this jump, clearing it. So we've just got to massively push it through. You can actually get a couple of pedal strokes in there. Should be all good. Yeah, boy. So this corner, realistically, if you do that wide line, end up going straight down the middle and then on the brakes. If you go on the inside there, you can carry it slightly wider out here to open up that turn and then hopefully carry a bit more flow into the next section. Go on, bud, get it, boy. Get it, mate. Hello, oh, hello, there hello. he is. Ready for it? Right, all the little Lees coming up for their second race run. <laughs> and then we're going up for our first. There you are, Charles, Charles P. <laughs> Do a back up before something flips out. Right then, have a good one, mate. You see, mate, good luck. Well, Ben. Oh, Tell you going fast, eh? You overshoot jumps. Yeah, yeah. 56. Not bad, mate. <laughs> right, currently in the lead with 56. Ollie's on his way. 57. Right, this is why Ollie had a bit of a moment. <laughs> oh my god. There he is, look, living up to his name as always. Get on. Well, there we go. And that's first run done and dusted.
I'm not sure how much faster I can actually go because that was on the edge, especially when we got towards the bottom and I'm overshooting some of those jumps. Oh, digs, paddle boy! Digs, boy. But she's looking pretty. You now I've got a bit of time now to get some lunch and uh, get ready for run number two. Here we are then, in the sun. Just a bit of a waiting game now while watching some of the other riders come on in. On our way up for race run number two. Yeah, yeah boy. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Yeah, I don't think it's really helped coming up this way. You can see the track has deteriorated yeah. somewhat for some of those corners. And, uh, yeah, it's a bit powdery, but we're having fun. Oh boy. Nice. Yeah, boy. Inside that, straighten this line, let it run out wide. Almost come out slightly wider here. And then we're good enough to cut inside. If it came to it, just drop down a bit. Make sure you get on the pedals out. Go on, bud! Go on, boy! And at the top, one of the last ones here. Let's see what it's all about. Rob, paper, scissors, shoes going first. Go on, man. One, two, three, show. One, two, three, show. It's done. So that means you're first, right? Yeah, well, you choose. Yeah, you go first. So before we drop in, I want to say a massive thanks to that guy and all the team here. Super, super fun, fun day. Uh, let's go see what this run brings. Oh, good one. Go on, Ben. Oh, it's a bit slower than I reckon. Don't make excuses. <laughs> it's not that bad. How'd you go? I got the wrong gear at the top, but the right scores on the doors. Yeah, Have a look. Oh, he's oh, mint. Showing the truth, Ollie Gray. What's he got? 56832. Good lad. I'm happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> got 20 years on him. I'm allowed. <laughs> Super made up, fastest time of the day, and I've literally got 18 years on the guy in second. He's a very, very good rider, so uh, pretty stoked with that. Let's go get a drink and uh, do pods. Oi, oi. Had do a top day, bike's looking trick, and the guys are looking pretty trick as well. Look. Love it. One category stroke, two categories to go. The fastest time of the day, our fastest lady on the hill today was Rian Gunnar. We just stood there. And our fastest male of the day, Ben Deacon. There we go, what an epic, fun time here at Tidware Freeride. It probably made it a little easier by getting fastest time of the day. Really stoked with that. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be great if you give it a thumbs up. Be sick if you subscribe. As a heads up, the next video is gonna be utter carnage.
The next video is going to be the gap jump video, so make sure you check that out. Until next one, thanks all so much for the support, and I'll catch you all soon. Oi, oi.